What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Film study for rookies. Today, man, is our first breakdown for really the 2024 NFL season. Man, I'm excited to get into it. First up is going to be Bears quarterback Brett Rippon right here. Now, on this first play, there's a lot to like. They're going to run a little RPO, as you're going to see. So right here, bang, fake the run. Brett's going to drop back. Now, he's watching this defensive back. What's he going to do right there? On top of that, he's also watching the defensive back over here. Because we're going to have an out route right here, bang, bang, and a go route on top. If neither one of those are open, he's going to look to go to the tight end. The thing with that is you're going to see 43 right here. He's going to drop back. So the tight end, he's not going to be open, right? So what does Brett do? He gets the linebacker to turn his back this way. Brett's just going to take that thing and run. I like it because we're not sitting in the pocket waiting for something to come open. He's like, okay, I'll just run it. Get a few yards right there, man. Get down. A plus right there. Let's check out play number two. So on the second play, we're going to see something similar to the first play. Brett's going to look off to the left and then bang, comes back to the middle for that high-low read. I love Brett right here. Being casual, not drop back, right? Take a look. One, two, three. Still looking towards the left at the top of his drop. Very impressive. That shows that he's being patient because he knows if the left is picked up, as you're going to see right here, he's going to have a high-low read. And that's exactly what he gets. Man, let the play develop. Bang, takes a hitch. And then let's it rip right there, even with the defender in his face. Take a look at that one more time. Patient, patient, patient. And then bang, gets that high-low read, man. Let's check out the next one. The next play we're going to jump to, we're going to see Brett under center right here. A little play action, roll him out. He slips a little bit, regains his composure, takes a couple of hitches, and lets it rip. Unfortunately, the receiver does not hang on to it. Take a look at this play right here. So as we run this back right here, you got Brett under center. Bang, they run the play action. Now right here... You're going to see him slip. Take a look. Bang. He slips, regains his composure, takes a couple of hitches, and bang, lets it rip. Unfortunately, AD doesn't catch it, but look at this. They run the play action, slips, steps into the pocket, and honestly, makes a pretty good throw because he has to throw it over the linebacker right here, but not too far over where the safety could jump it. That's a pretty good throw, man. And he stands in to take the hit. Take a look at this right here. Big D lineman coming at him, stands in there, takes the hit. Ooh, good stuff right there by Brett. On this play right here, you're going to see the Bears trying to kind of hide their coverage, what they're running. Brett does a great job of reading that. So at the beginning of this play, it could be cover two right here. Bang, bang. Could be cover three. He's going to drop down here. He's going to play the third, and he's going to play the third over here. But what's actually going to happen is the Texans have a complete lapse in coverage. Nobody picks up the seam route right there. This DB is picking up 88. Nobody is picking up the seam. On top of that, watch Brett right here. Once the ball is snapped, Brett does a great job staring off the free safety, keeping him over here. Let's run that back one more time. Take a look. So once the ball is snapped, you're going to see him immediately looking to the right, holding the safety there. Add a couple steps later, comes back to the seam route. Is that going to be open? If that's not open, most likely he's going to try and check it down right here. Let the play develop. Oh, the seam route's open. He lets it rip, man. Great stuff once again by Brett, man. Let's keep it going. Next up, we're going to see Brett make one hell of a back shoulder throw on a three-step drop. On a three-step drop. Take a look at this right here. Ball snap, bang. One, two, three. Top of his drop. Sees one-on-one. -on -one. Safety's all the way over here. He's like, okay, I'll take that. And look where he puts that ball. Back shoulder. Now, don't get me wrong, receiver, one hell of a catch right there, but great stuff by Brett once again. Three-step drop, and then bang, that kind of throw on that. Woo, that's what, almost a 40-yard throw. Man, great stuff once again. The next play we're going to look at right here, we got trips on the right. Brett, once again, man, just composed in the pocket, honestly, man. One of the first things I noticed as I was watching this film over and over again take a look right here so as we run this play back you're going to see brett immediately he's looking to the left holding the safety here i've said that a couple times now in different plays right let the play develop bang comes back to the middle and once again finds his guy wide open man i mean you can't teach this and look how composed he is in the pocket we're going to see what another three step drop one two three top of his drop looks back over the tight end takes a hitch and then lets it rip man Honestly, very, very composed in the pocket. Yes, it's preseason, so it's a little bit different than a real NFL game. 
but I like what I'm seeing for the most part. Let's keep it going. Next play, we're going to look at a little jet sweep, RPO, and Brett letting it rip. You know, the thing about this, though, it's a little bit different than other ones because he doesn't have time to set his feet, right? If the tight end's open, he's got to let it rip right away. So take a look what happens. Bang, they're on the RPO. Brett's going to drop back. Now what Brett sees is all three Texans defenders coming up. So he's like, okay, I got to get rid of it quick. Because if I don't, 22 is going to pick up that tight end within a second or two. So what's he do? Let's hit rip right there, man. What a throw. Like I said before, he doesn't have time to set his feet. If the tight end's open, he's got to let it rip, man. Throws off that front foot. What a throw right there. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, once again, three-step drop. Back shoulder throw is money. Let's run that back real quick. I mean, take a look at this. Once again, got to give the receiver props for that catch. But that throw on a three-step drop is just wild. Take a look at this. One, two, three. Plants his feet. I mean, come on, man. That, whew. I'm not going to say it's a perfect ball, but <laughs> I don't know how much more closer you can get to being perfect than that. Good stuff right there. So the next play right here, we're going to see Brett get a little pressure Looks to the middle, goes back to the right, gets pressured up the middle, and then bang, once again, just finds his guy. Take a look at this one more time real quick. So right here, the ball snap. Looking to the middle, trying to look off the safety. Potentially going to go right. But what do you know? There's pressure. So what's he do? He's going to roll out. He's like, okay, nothing's open yet. I'll keep running. And then I like that he goes sideways. That allows him to extend the play on the run, not above the line of scrimmage. He's like, all right, I'll escape the pressure, get out of harm's way, and see what's open. And that's huge because it's third down. So third and six, third and seven, give or take, they've got to convert. I love what he does right here, man. Playmaker on the run. And now let's jump to our last play of the day. And right here, man, it's just Brett for six. Finds the corner route in the end zone. And that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know who else you guys want to see other than Caleb Williams, obviously. You got DJ Moore, Keenan Allen. I mean, you guys have everybody. So let me know what you guys want to see. I'll catch you guys on the next one.